guys welcome back to another nail video today I'm going to do something different as you can see by the title I am I am following a nail tutorial by Susie of the nail career education now I, I haven't followed one of Susie's before so this will be something new I've done Kirsty's but never Susie so we'll see how we get on I did have to make these two glitter mixes which were the ones that she used sort of in her video like try and match them and stuff if you wanted to see that video i will leave it as a clickable link at the end of the video because i did film making these now susie uses poly gel so i'm using one from madame glam which is called rose pink and this one from neo which is their clear deer acro gel i am going to use neo's dehydrator and primer again because i really thought they were good and then the other, the only other thing I'm going to use is a base coat because you need a base coat with the acrogel or polygel, whatever. I am going to sculpt my nails and I found a load of these in my drawer. So these are the ones I'm using. No idea where these are from. I've just no idea, but they're really cool. So I've already prepped my nails. So all I'm going to do is put the dehydrator acid primer on. Then I'm going to put some base coat on, cure that, and then I'll come back when I put the sculpting forms on. Okay, so with Susie's video, I have literally got up to the part where she's just, as she says, newt her base coat. <laughs> so let's, I'm going to put one of these nail forms on my thumb. If you can hear a noise outside, obviously somebody's decided to mow the lawn because like, you know, why wouldn't they? It's like they know. I switched the camera on. Oh, I'm going to mow, mow my lawn. Brilliant. <laughs> Always make sure that the numbers going down there are down the center of the nail or else if you're following them you're gonna have a wonky nail. I'm not quite sure what the, sh the shape of the nail I'm gonna go for yet. So that's the pink I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to get the pink and just put it. Now let's get your slip ready first. I'm going to do this as real time as I can, but it depends on when I edit the video of how long it is actually going to take. It's going to be. I don't want to an hour long video because that's just pointless. So that's a gorgeous pink, absolutely gorgeous. So let's get some out. Always put the lids on. So okay, let's watch and see off. how far down yeah, Susie comes, comes with, with this alcohol. pink. So I've just got a little dish here of alcohol. I use this as my means of being able to shape this nail. Okay, so I got a little alcohol on there and we are just going to start shaping the hybrid gel. And I'm gonna pan this, see how I'm doing the pink now? Not abruptly stopping, but Flowing just- Flowing it off the end. Oh. Right nice. So because I don't want it to move when I'm doing my glitters or the clear, I'm going to actually just give that a bit of a nuke. Oh, okay. And you can probably even flash cure it, I would imagine. 
Okay, I'm so going to cure that. Uh, this I've never done before. So it was Susie says I've just nuked that for 30 seconds. That is something new that I've not done before. I've never done a layer and cured it and then do, do something else on top. I really like that idea. So let's carry on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm making my free edge with the clear. So I'm not going to cure this right now because now I want to add the glitter. So I think just with a little bit of alcohol, we can just pick up this glitter and just start adding it. My glitters in there I got to nuke it so let's give it a 30 to 60 second nuke okay so now I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds okay so one thing I did do off camera I wasn't really happy with the number four so with this acrogel I just put some some more going down to the number six and then just put some more glitter on I'm a lot happier with that length nail than the number four okay Susie take it away so now this one good tip if you're going to continue doing the mermaid beautiful glitter look on all your fingers you do want to kind of go ahead and do all your clears first then do all your glitters then clean your brush and then top coat it i am going to get a fairly big bead of it because i'm doing the whole nail So now all that's done, I'm just going to nuke it, as Susie says, for 60 seconds. Okay, so that is all nice and cured now, so I'm going to take it off. I mean, I know Susie didn't do a lot to her nails, but it was just, and I couldn't wait to try and try this. So before I go on to the rest, I'm going to get Nao's gel residue remover and a lint-free wipe and just get the tacky layer off because I don't want it making my other hand sticky right so i think with i'm going to alternate with the glitters i know susie didn't so with my first finger i'm going to put this second that third that fourth that okay so this part i will fast forward through because there's no real reason for me to talk through this so i will just do exactly the same as what susie did on each of the nails and then i'll come back when i'm ready to file
while you're watching me do the rest of my nails, I did just want to bring up one comment. I'm getting so many messages saying that my cuticles are vile, I've got infections in them, they just look disgusting, how can I even think about doing nail videos with cuticles as bad as mine? When I prep my nails and put the dehydrator and the primer on, for some reason, my cuticles just turn white. Can't help it, it's always happened if you go back on my earlier videos, you will see that it always happens there as well. There's nothing I can do about it because I've prepped my nails. There's no use putting cuticle oil on to make the cuticles look better when you've already prepped your nails. So I just wanted to say thank you for, the, for those who, ha who were concerned quite nicely but not really about my cuticles they are perfectly fine I've got no infections in them once I put the cuticle oil on at the end of this video you will see that they are quite fine I <laughs> just wanted to put that out there thank you <laughs> Okay, so all them are done now. I sort of lost lost the shape as I went along, but that's not a massive big deal. I've got quite a nice curve. My fingers are so sticky, it's ridiculous. I'll get some gel residue with that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get the uh, tacky layer off now. But as uh, Susie said in the video, to save on, no, not that one, save on your brush, getting all clogged up with one particular process of doing this like the glitter or the pink or the, the clear to go one by one so that's why I put the pink on all of them then the, the, the clear then the glitter and as you saw I went one by one with the glitter as well so I didn't contaminate the glitter but yeah I, th these are so fast I have done these in record time it's crazy I don't really need to watch Susie's video anymore. It was just mainly to this nail's too long. It was just mainly to to get how she did all this. I mean, I, I I did see the video obviously before, else I wouldn't have known how to do these glitters and what to do. But yeah, I absolutely. Oh, I might do ballerina nails. Why not? Yeah, loved the way the. Susie did these nails. They were so much fun and the glitter she used. I am definitely going to remember how to do this design of encapsulating stuff because I didn't even think of that before as I keep saying. I know you're probably sick of hearing me say it. Okay so I'm going to get on with this filing now and then I'll be back 
after I've done all of them. Now I'm going to get some of Neo's Urban Graffiti Top Coat because I've used like a gel product and let's have a look at this glitter. One line down the centre. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. But now I know another way of using Acrogel, thanks, thanks to Susie. I can now do other videos using this in a different way than I originally thought and do some different videos. With this glitter, depending on when you're watching the video, I have got a giveaway going on with on the glitter mix video. So if you fancy to get getting your hands on some of but either one of these glitters, please head over to that video and enter my giveaway. Okay, so now just ending with the cuticle oil. This one is from the Nail Candy Shop. I absolutely love this. It is so nourishing. It's lovely. And yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. I really enjoyed doing these. It was so much fun and it was so quick to do. So thank you, Susie, for your amazing idea of how to use the poly gel. Never even thought about using it this way. I was so impressed and I really had to follow, al follow along in your video to see actually how easy it was. All right guys, I will leave the link to Susie's video in the description box. I would like to thank Susie and hope she doesn't mind me using her video, but I just really wanted to try these out. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.